Well, hello. Welcome to our continuing devotional through the book of Colossians. Today we're in Colossians chapter 2, looking at verse 8, which says this. See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. Paul is once again warning Christians to be alert to any spiritual teaching, any doctrine, any belief that distracts you from or lessens your dependence upon Jesus alone. You have a part to play and you are responsible for making sure that you don't get led astray. That's why Paul says here, see to it. You are responsible. You for staying on course spiritually. You can't depend on somebody else making sure that you don't go wayward. That's your responsibility. See to it that no one takes you astray. No one takes you captive. No one leads you in the wrong uh, direction. You have everything you need to stay on course. You have God's word. You have God's spirit within you. Uh, he's given, given the opportunity to hear the truth from reliable spiritual teachers, but you have to make use of those things and see to it that you're not led in the wrong direction. Or as he says here, by philosophy. See to it, he says, that you, no one takes you captive by philosophy. Now, when you think philosophy, don't think philosophy like you might have had uh, as a college-level class. Philosophy here is just a word that means worldly wisdom. Erroneous, false, worldly wisdom, and false spiritual teaching uh, that's unreliable. That's what he means by philosophy, a way of thinking. Uh, so see to it, you're not, you're not led astray by these ways of thinking. And then he mentions several problems in this one verse with these false teachings. And these are pretty much true of every false teaching. One of them is they're enslaving. They take you captive. That's what he says. It takes you captive. They lead Instead of freedom, they bring you into bondage, bondage to guilt, bondage to rules, bondage to various religious requirements, uh, bondage to the unending pursuit of, of spiritual experiences. There's no rest. It takes you captive uh, and, and, and instead of bringing you freedom. Secondly, they're unfulfilling. They're empty deceit. Uh, false teachings promise a lot but do not deliver. If you've ever been to a restaurant where they have a picture of a dish on the menu and it looks delicious and you, did, you order it immediately, and then when you get it, it's a totally different thing on the plate. It doesn't taste good and it doesn't look good. That's that's the empty deceit. It promises much, but it doesn't deliver. And that's what false teaching does. It says, Oh, you're gonna you're gonna have more insight, you're gonna have more joy, you're gonna have more peace, you're gonna have more intimacy, you're gonna more have pow more power with God. But it promises much, but it doesn't deliver. The third problem is it's from unreliable sources. He says these false teachings are according to human tradition. They don't come from God's word. In the same way that there's fake news uh, and stories that are in the media and on the in the newspapers and on the internet that are unreliable because they don't have good sources, uh, but biased sources and rumors and gossip, well, there's false spiritual teaching that's according to human tradition. It's according to people saying, oh, I heard an angel visited me and told me this, or, or, uh, uh, I saw Mary, an apparition of Mary, or I went to heaven, or I went to hell. All of this stuff is not found in God's word. Listen to the word of God, not human thinking. That's going to lead you astray as an unreliable source. The problem number four is many of these false teachings are demonically inspired. He says in verse 8 here that they're according to the elemental spirits of the world. And there is a little bit of debate about the meaning of that phrase, elemental spirits of the world, but most likely it refers to demons. Paul taught elsewhere that there's doctrines of demons that, that come through the teaching of people who appear to be doing right, but are actually leading people astray. So be careful. Not everything that uses the term God uh, or Jesus or, or claims to be something good is what it seems to be. And the ultimate problem with all of these false teachings is they, they're not about the supremacy and the sufficiency of Jesus. It says in verse 8 there, they're at the end of verse 8, they're not according to Christ, uh, which means they're not giving Jesus his proper place, that he is fully sufficient for all we need. He's fully supreme in everything. We put all our hope, all our trust, all our commitment in him. So be very careful that you're not led astray 
that, that you see to it, that your life continues down the right path and you don't get taken captive by these empty, damaging, human-centered, world, worldly ways of thinking called philosophy. Hope you consider these things. Have a blessed day.